We're just going to begin with uh, our weight section. So we're going to do arms and then abs and then legs. All right. So let's begin with the legs nice and wide, getting into our bodies. Take a nice big inhale in. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, lower down. Nice big in all the way up. And exhale down. Nice, nice big inhale in. Exhale. One more time. Big inhale in. Good. Reach the arms up right here. And I just want you to try to touch the ceiling. Reach and reach and reach and reach. Feel the sides of the waist stretching nice and long. Good. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Let's just go ahead and fold forward all the way down. You can release the weights if you had them in your hands. And we're going to shift side to side. So just picking up the heel or picking up the toes, pressing into the heel, going side to side, getting into our bodies, breathing, getting excited for the workout ahead, feeling always really grateful and happy that we get to move and breathe and sweat and work out, knowing that this is a total privilege that we get to be grateful for. Good, and then turn the toes forward, release yourself all the way down. Good, and just feel your spine release. And then I want you to walk your hands over to the left foot and bend the right knee and straighten up. Good, two, and up one more time, bend and up. Walk those hands over to the other side, grab onto your ankle, bend and up and bend the knee and up one more time, bend and up, nice job. Place the hands onto the hips, reach the crown of the head forward, lift yourself all the way up, good job. All right, let's grab our weights and we're going to begin with some arms. All right, so legs are just about hip distance apart and we're going to begin with the elbows in, pulsing the arms back just like this. So with bar classes, I love to teach them pretty rhythmically, so just begin to feel that rhythm within your own body. Good, back and back and back and back. Feeling the posture muscles working here. Good, and squeeze the shoulder blades together for eight and seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to reach the arms forward straight like this. Bring the hands back so my hands open up that same position. Reach forward and back forward and back good reach and reach and reach reach good feeling those arms starting to burn pretty quickly here nice for eight and seven six five four three two and one just reach the right arm for eight seven six, five, opening up the arm, four, three, two, and one. Other side for eight and seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna alternate the arms, eight, seven, six, squeeze those shoulder blades together with every single one, three, two, and one. Nice job. We're going to reach the arm up. Give this little bend here and notice the other arm reaches or stays right there as the other one reaches up. Good. For eight and seven and six and five and four. Hold on to that belly. Three, two, and one. Other side for eight. So my palm reaches forward and then it reaches back up. Six and five, four, three. Pull the belly in, two and one. Good, we're gonna alternate the arms up and up. Up and up. Nice job, let's reach it up and up. Little pulses to the ceiling. Up and up, good for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, we're gonna reach it just to this side. Little pulses right here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reach it forward for eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now we're gonna alternate front and side. Here we go. Front and side. Front and side. Front and side. Try to keep your torso really strong there. Good for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Back to this. Reach over and reach and reach and reach. Four more and four and three and two and one. Other side. Here we go. And seven and six, five, four, three and two and one. Good. We're going to do this again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more set of eight and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Little pulses right here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew, good job. Have the palms facing up, little squeezes and squeeze. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. I know everything's burning, the triceps, the biceps, the shoulders, but that's good. That's what we want, right? So just breathe for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's reach those out one more time. So remember, every time come back to here, squeeze the shoulder blades, open the arms out to the side, reach and open, reach, open, reach, open. Good job, four more. Four, three, and two, and one. Nice job, now we're gonna reach the arms up, change it up a little bit, bring the elbows together. Good, lower the hands down, lift up, so you're just lowering behind you. Make sure that the elbows are like right above your head and the upper arm bones are right by your ears and you're squeezing the elbows together. Good, and up, and up and up good lift and lift and lift feel that belly button squeezing in towards the spine for eight and seven six five four three and two and one good little pulses eight seven six five four three two one we're just gonna reach so you're staying in this like tricep bend right here with the elbow and then you're just going to reach up from there all right up and up up and up keep that elbow in nice and lift 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 for ten nine eight seven six you can do it and five you're almost there four keep going three and two and one good we're gonna lift it up and just do a little hits out to the side like a big big circle nice little pulses out 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 again and little reaches out out really try to expand really wide through the arms hitting every single little spot one more time little reach 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 good for eight seven six five four three two one good last set right here we're going to finish off just like how we started with the elbows opening up or the hands opening up elbows in last eight right here and we're going to reach it out so remember palms are up last eight seven six five four three two hold it out here little pulses last ten nine eight seven six five this is it three two one and let it go nice job Woo. all right put those weights down we will return to them very soon so just have them off to the side there and let's go ahead and lay down onto our backs Woo. all right grab a block have it near you so release the head all the way back nice so we're gonna use the blocks just like as a little tool to move with the legs. If you don't have a block right now, you could definitely still do this without the block. All right, so let's have the knees up in tabletop position here. Press onto the block here, and we're just going to lift up just to add a little bit of, of resistance in the upper body, just a tiny bit. Good for 10 and nine 
and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Now we're going to bring the block over, tap the shins, reach the arms and legs out, tap the shin. Trying to just bring the upper body up as opposed to the knees really coming towards you. Think about almost like touching your toes and reach. Good for 10 and nine, eight and seven and six, five. Good job. And four, three and two. And one, give yourself a little break. I know the block adds so much to that neck and all of these muscles here, which is really good. You always wanna be strengthening those muscles. All right, so we're gonna take the block and we're just gonna thread it underneath the knees like this. So thread through, thread, thread through. Good, for 10 and nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, let the head rest. Go ahead and place the block down and just roll yourself up. We're gonna go straight into a high plank pose. So actually let's take it onto our elbows first. So elbows down onto the floor, good. If you ever need to modify, you could just keep your knees here on the ground, all right? Otherwise, lift those knees up off of the floor. Hold it right here. Pull the belly up and in. It's already warm. Let's, let's uh, shift our shoulders forward. Push the heels back. So feel like you're just sawing forward and back for 10 and nine, eight, seven, six, Five, good, four, three, two. Don't come down, hold it right here, hold, hold, hold. Push the floor away. Good, press the palms into the earth. Make sure that the forearms are parallel to one another and then just lift the left leg up, tap it down. Lift the right, tap it down. Lift and tap, lift and tap. Good for 10 and nine, eight, Seven, pull the belly up. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Place the toes down, hold it here, push the floor away. Hold, 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 hold. Good, pull the belly in for three, hold for two, hold for one. Come down. Whew. All right. So again, you can take your knees down to the floor at any time, any, any time that you'd like. Okay. I love working on the elbows in plank because our arms definitely get a lot of work and it's a great way to build up to harder things as well. So let's press the elbows back down into the floor one more time. Press up into this plank pose, hold. Try to tuck the tailbone just slightly under by squeezing the glutes and lifting up the kneecaps. Good, so now we're going to take it from side to side. So we're going to take this foot, tap it over to the side without shifting the hips too much, and then tap it back in. Tap and in, tap in. Just feel every move that you're getting stronger and stronger. Every time you shake, know that that muscle is just getting more resilient with each one. Good, for eight, and seven, push the elbows into the floor. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to the center, hold. You've got this, hold, hold, hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down. Whew. All right, shake out those shoulders, shake out the everything okay we're gonna grab that block sit down onto your hips bring those knees up towards you 
We're gonna do a few little twists right here to get into those obliques. So sit up nice and tall, hands on either side of the block here like this. And you're just going to lean slightly back, tap the block towards the floor, tap and tap, that's all it is. Try to really pull from the lower belly and tap and tap. Trying to stay back instead of kind of forward like this. Good, lean back, stay strong. You're doing so good. Hold it here for 10 and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift the knees up and we're going to now keep going. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, hold it into the center, hold, 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 pull the knees up, lift up towards the chest, bring those arms out in front of you. Nice, can you do one more set? I think you can. You could always place the feet down if you need to. Otherwise, here we go, one more time for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on up. Whew. All right. That was a lot of abs and arms. So the body is really warm right now. Should feel really good. Now we're going to move on to our legs, which is really the bulk of this workout. All right, so I'm going to use a three pound weight like I mentioned before. If that's too much for you, you don't have to do that. All right, so what we're gonna do is actually place the block underneath our, um, our right knee. So you're gonna place it underneath here like this. So it creates this little extra height that you have to work with and a little extra balance. If at any moment the block doesn't feel right for you, then I encourage you to just take it out and just keep doing the moves exactly the same, but just without the block. All right, so let's just find our positioning here, right? So let's find our all four. So shoulders are over the wrists and then it's as if you were in all four. So the opposite knee is just gonna be kind of floating there. Good, so just extend the left leg back behind you. Tap the foot down. Really notice where you are right here. Make sure that the knee isn't in the middle. Again, you're in all four. So the knee is underneath the hip and the opposite knee would be underneath the opposite hip. All right, let's lift the left leg up. You're just going to lift and tap. Lift and tap. Lift and tap. Lift and tap. Good. Ten more like this. Ten and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. So now we're going to tap the foot over to one side. You're going to lift it up really big, tap it over to the other side. All right, so you're tapping on either side of the mat. And let's go right here, just ten and tap, and nine, and eight, and seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one, Nice job. All right, let's switch over to the other side and then we'll come back again to the left. All right, place that knee underneath the block. Reach the leg out, so we're doing 20 right here. And 20 and 19. Pull the lower belly in. Notice what the arms are doing. Make sure that they're not bending here, right? The arms are like in a high plank pose. Fingers are spreading out wide. Still grounding down through that first finger and thumb. Pull the lower belly in. 10 more right here. And 10. And 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. Try not to bend too much in the low back. 4. 3. And 2. And 1. Nice job. So now you're going to tap to the outside of the mat. Lift up as high as you can go. Pull the lower belly in. Keeping the arms strong. Remember the whole time, you're never ever bending down like this. Arms are straight, 
Feel the chest reaching forward, feel the tailbone reaching back, feel the abs pull in. Nice. Nine. Eight, especially as the leg starts to move, right? That up, the left arm kind of wants to bend around. Don't let it. Stay nice and strong. Six. And five. Four. Three. Two. One. And finish it all the way out. Nice job. All right, we're gonna place the block back onto the right knee. All right, now we're going to lower down onto our right elbow, creating this really high dip now. So lift the left leg up. Left hand is on the floor, right elbow is on the floor. Pull the knee in towards your uh, tricep and then extend it out nice and long. All right, 20, just like this, 20 and 19. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Hold it right here. Hold the leg up. Pull the belly in. Resituate yourself. Push the floor away even more if you found yourself sinking. And then do little extensions right here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. Pull the knee back in towards the tricep. Extend it out to the side. Nice. So you're going to lift it up, try to touch the shoulder, and then tap to the side. Lift and tap. Lift and tap. Lift, tap. Lift, tap. Good. We're gonna do 10 more just like that. So you're kind of doing like this little side hydrant thing, but you're actually trying to pull the knee all the way up towards your shoulder. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, good job, 2, and 1. Nice job. All right, staying right here up on this block. Again, you could always take it down if you need to. Just lift up, tap the block, lift, tap the block. Whew. These are pretty challenging. 20 right here, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, You've got this, nine, eight. Keep your breath going nice and strong. You're doing so, so good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, man. Good job. <laughs> all right, those are pretty challenging. So if you didn't make it all the way through the reps, that's okay. Again, it's always something just to work up towards, all right? or maybe you just breezed through all of them, then that's amazing. But then I would challenge you to do 10 more <laughs> after that. Okay, so lower the elbows down. Let's go onto the other side. Place the right hand down towards the floor. Right elbow is slightly bent, and you're going to pull the knee in towards the tricep. I want you to actually make contact. Elbow to, or knee to elbow, okay? That's going to make a huge, huge, huge difference. So we did 20 here on the other side, so we'll do the same, of course. 19, 18, 17, 16, 16. So of course you're gonna already feel kind of fatigued, right? Because this hip has been supporting the other one as it's been working, so that's totally normal. 
good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. So now we're going to pull that knee in again. Remember, take it to the side. So we're going to lift the leg up. Bring the knee in towards the side. So pull it in and out, up. So really the action here is pulling the knee up towards the shoulder, all right? And staying nice and strong on the supporting leg. So we did 20 on the other side as well. So using the right hand as a really strong anchor, also feeling the left elbow and the left shoulder, making sure you're not kind of like dumping here in the shoulder at all, okay? So really staying super strong there. Really, really strong. So push away, creating the space between the ear and the shoulder. Good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good job. So now we're gonna keep the position of the arms. Remember, push yourself out of the floor if you've began to fall in. Push away, creating the space. Press the both palms really strongly and firmly into the ground. Lift the leg up to the side 20 times right here. Here we go. Up and up. Good, 10 more right here, keep the arms strong. 10, this is our last thing here on this position. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, Whew. Oh my goodness, all right. Ah, carefully come out of that pose. I know that was a long time to be kind of like in that forward position. So you'll get stronger the more you do this. All right, so we've got a few more things for the legs though. So since we've got our block here, we might as well keep using it. And I love that it just adds a little bit of a change in how, of the relation to the floor. So let's use it underneath our heels here. And we're going to press the heels or the hips up nice and high. Good, and then lower back down. Okay, find a good positioning. I realized I was too far from the block, so you should be able to almost, almost, almost reach your heels like that. All right, so press down into the floor, lift the heels or hips up nice and high, press the heels into the floor, and then lower back down, lift it up, and lower. Good, really digging into the heels, noticing how my toes are flipped back up. So you're activating those shins, but you're really, really activating the glutes and the hamstrings. Good. Really feeling those hamstrings work here. All that work that we did on the outer hips definitely come into play here, but they're not the, the main focus. Right now we're really looking to activate those hamstrings and that deep, low part of the glutes. Good, keep those toes lifted up. Your shins might even begin to burn, which is good. Helping to strengthen your ankles and protect your shins as well. Good, five and four, three and two, good job. And one, lower the hips down. Good, now place the left heel into the block. Make sure it's into a nice, Sturdy position, definitely don't go on the edge so the block doesn't move around. Reach the right leg up now, and you're going to press into that left heel so strong. Lower back down. Let's go four, 10, and nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hold it up, your little pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, nice job. Switch the legs. All right, 10 big ones. Reach the leg up for 10. And nine, eight, seven, and six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it up here, stay nice and strong. Keep the hips up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, take a little breather, and then continue on with both legs just lifting up, or both heels pressing in. Nice. We're gonna repeat that one more time on both sides. All right, so press the left heel into the ground, reach the right leg up. Here we go for 10 and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it up there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, place the knee, heel down. Let's go. And 10, and nine. You're doing so good. And eight, really press into the heel, seven, Lift the hips up high, six, five, four, three, two, you've got this last little bit, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower down. Okay, last little bit here. We're going to actually open the knees just slightly so you're on the edges, outside edges of the feet. You're like in this butterfly pose, press into the block. Lift the hips up high, knees are just slightly open, and just lift and lower. Lift and lower, last little finale right here. This is it, this is the final bit of your class. Nice, you're doing so good. Try to relax the shoulders down into the earth. And 10, nine, eight. Really feel those hamstrings working and those outer glutes sculpting and strengthening our entire lower half of our body. Good, and five, four, three, and two. Last one, hold it up, hold, 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 and lower down. Oh, nice job, pull the knees in towards your chest. Whew. Breathe deeply in through the nose, out through the nose. Go ahead and just circle the knees around. Feel the tailbone and back bones just really pressing into the earth. Circle the knees. Breathe deeply in and out through the nose. Oh, you did so, so, so good. Good, go ahead and carefully come on up. <sighs> that was a lot. <laughs> You should be so proud of yourself. Okay, let's place the foot over the knee. It's my, always my favorite stretch after we do those intense glute exercises. And just go ahead and allow the knee to move side to side. You can close your eyes here for just a few moments as the knee and the hip, everything just loosens up here. Breathe. <clears throat> And switch the legs, place the foot over, really in allowing yourself to relax into this. Breathing deeply in and out through the nose. Good, and then bring the soles of the feet together. And let's do a few body rolls here, just allowing the body to let go. We just did a lot of really intense kind of structured movement. So let's allow our bodies to just kind of roll through. So just take the chest forward and then roll all the way up towards the top. Lift up and roll through and lift. One more time. 
You can close your eyes if that feels better. Really allowing your body to organically move. Good, now we're gonna roll through, starting with the head moving forward. And lift the chest up nice and high. Roll through the spine. Feel like you're like ducking under something. Really letting your body go, letting the judgments go. Any thoughts that associate with free flow moving. Just allow yourself to just be. Nice. And then just stay centered here for just a moment and then cross the legs all the way and then bring the hands to the heart center. Bow your head down towards your heart as a symbol of gratitude and compassion to your body and to yourself. Always feeling so much compassion for yourself knowing that you are doing your absolute best every single day. Showing up, being here, taking care of your body. That's an amazing, amazing, amazing thing that you are doing for yourself. Never, ever forget that. And know that what you're doing is more than enough. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so proud of you. That was challenging and hopefully fun because that should always be the goal. And like I just said, it's just amazing that you're showing up here and doing the work with us and the community and me. So I am so proud of you and great job. And I will see you next time. Bye.